Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And in the last video, <laughs> look at all these cows in my way. Get out of my way, cows. In the last video, we built, didn't we build? We built this hill over here. Very exciting stuff, huh, Mr. Cow? Yes, uh, unfortunately, it was another sort of boring uh, terrain video. But nevertheless, what we have is awesome and uh, really helps make this look even more like Stampy's world, which is, of course, the point of all this, this is the whole point of the point of all of this. Uh, so uh, at the end of the last video, uh, I remarked about I talked about what we uh, what we're going to build next, and um, obviously it's not that. <laughs> Clearly, you've read the title of this video, and today we are going to build the pick a pet 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 pick a pet pet shop. Whew, wow, I'm having trouble saying that. And as you can see, I have not yet. I uh, got rid of my uh, stage uh, building here, the uh, 20,000 subscriber stadium. Uh, and I'm going to definitely have to get rid of that soon. But for now, it's fine there. I'm not going to destroy it before I need to. It's kind of it's kind of fun to have, you know, take up some space over there. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to build the Pick Up at Pet Shop right now. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, from here, we want to first we want to make sure we get the door in the right, right spot here. So... We're going to start from this door since we've already made meticulous measurements up to this point, of course. Uh, so this is going to be, let's see, the entrance for the pick a pet pet shop. I'm just going to keep saying that as many times as I can throughout the video so that I can practice saying pick a pet pet shop without slurring my words. Uh, okay, so the entrance is two, uh, there's two doors. It's a double door. So the first of the two doors is going to be on the 13th block from here so we're gonna we're gonna point at this door and then we're gonna go 13 uh to the right of that so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve hold on hold on what, what was that somebody said something i didn't i didn't go to my love garden oh hold on hold on people i did not go to my love garden because i got some things to say and that's some apologies <laughs> in the in the last video when we built the, the hill, uh, I really pretty much just went over the people that were in the, uh, had to do with the uh, 12,000, 20,000, excuse me, 20,000 subscriber video. Uh, and we did that. But I also mentioned a couple of mistakes that we corrected and I did not mention uh, who gave me those mistakes. So I apologize uh, to these very people over here. Uh, let's see. First of all, we've got, um, well, the first two people on my on my list today, Calvin Nelson and Elizabeth San. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. Elizabeth San or San? You can let me know. I like San, to tell you the truth. Elizabeth San. I don't know. That's cool. Um, Elizabeth uh, and uh, Calvin both submitted uh, some progress videos on YouTube. It was awesome just to see their, their amazing progress. It's just, a, it's just crazy. You know, when I look at the videos, I feel like I'm watching like one of my videos. And I think by saying that, I think you guys are probably feeling... Uh, good about that because that's yeah, I, I watch the videos and I'm like oh yeah this is exactly it this is I mean it's it's totally looks awesome it looks great everybody's doing an awesome job who submitted videos so far so far uh, Dylan okay people yeah I got to get some some last name I got to go to class how to pronounce people's last names I swear sometimes I Google them uh, uh, I don't know if this is Bost Bost or some something else so Dylan thank you very much. Uh, Dylan uh, gave me a correction that is so old, I can't believe no one else caught it. We've got to go over. Hey, is that Esther? I think my chicken keeps escaping. I keep, I keep having to put a new chicken in here every time I start a video. I wonder if chickens can jump over fences now. Hmm. Well, if anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Um, yeah, so guess what? Right in here, in this little hole here, <laughs> this floor is supposed to be snow. I had it as blue wool originally because that's how I, you know, when I built this room and how I instructed you to build it was to, uh, you know, we kind of made the wooden outside part and then we filled it all in with blue wool. And then we put the white snow walls on top of it. And um, I think Stampy did not because obviously you, don't, you wouldn't want to waste so much blue wool underneath all these walls because he was, you know, it was very hard to get wool. Uh, back then, so I believe he, uh, you know, put the walls down first, so that would make sense that this would be snow. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dylan, for for pointing that out. That's an important little detail. That is a one tiny little detail that can really, you know, 
uh, add to the authenticity of your Stampy World if you so choose. Uh, and the other mistake, uh, the mistakes that were brought up in the last video, uh, the about the uh, putting a dropper instead of a dispenser in the back of the um, fire truck. That was the very first person of many that told me uh, was Travis Thomason. And um, I can only put that, I only put the person who told me first. There's been, you know, many people that told me. I apologize, I can't put you all on here. But the very first person who tells me a mistake, uh, and I sort it by, I can sort my comments by date, you know, by, by time and stuff. So I know exactly who's commenting first. Uh, so anyway, um, but, oh, hi, hi, Ernie and Bert. How you guys doing, by the way? I didn't say hi to you. There's Ernie and Bert. If you somehow missed it. These are my two new dogs, Ernie and Bert. Uh, anyway, uh, so Travis, uh, again, thank you for that. And, you know, the, the, the droppers worked fine. It was fine. It, was, it worked okay. But I'm glad to have it fixed. Uh, now, Sharkcraft45 uh, is the one that told me about the door being in the wrong place. Again, the very first person to tell me about the door in the um, fire hall being in the wrong spot. And I did mention that, and we did fix that. So that's good. So all right, well that's out of the way. Let's get let's get to it. Man, I almost had this started. I was thinking like, man, this this video's going really good. I'm already I'm already into it. Nope, nope, nope. That's just because you forgot something. That's the way it always goes with me. Okay, so we said 13 from this point. So let's see. One, no, we start here. That's a zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. So I'm gonna dig out these two here. Uh, oh, I don't want that to be out to the be to be birch and spruce. Where do I want to put that? Well, I'll put that here for now. Um, although it kind of works as a color. So that's going to be the entrance. It's just one block long. That's as long as the path needs to be. So there should be this whole building uh, is 12 by 15. So it's 12 wide by 15 that direction. Uh, so let's just do it with. Um, I know there's brown spots on this thing, but we're just going to start out with um, with some sandstone, because it's all sandstone and brown wool. Uh, so let's see, it's 12, let's do the math, <laughs> so it's six side, so one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, so there should be two in between here. Uh, I'm going to add uh, five on this side, three, four, five, and that, yes, I know, we're going to punch out stuff for windows and stuff in a little bit. But we're just going to build the solid, you know, let's just build the whole solid walls straight up. Uh, and then we'll start punching out holes for things like details and the windows and doors and stuff. So, uh, so this should be 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. And it's going to be 15 deep. Uh, so we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Again, there should be two, two blocks here just like for that building. All right, let's match all that up, or meet it all up, I should say. And, oop, got a little bit there here. Not quite close enough to the ground. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's our basic shape. Uh, we want to go up. Uh, well, we want to go up a total of nine sandstone blocks. We've already got one down. And then it's going to be black wool on top of that. Uh, so from here, we're going to add eight blocks, eight uh, you know rows of sandstone on top of this. So let's all do that and meet up when we're done. Okay, that is built. So there's nine total blocks here. Nine. And uh, we do have the roof to put on still, but we're going to do that last as probably I do usually because uh, we need some light in here and it's much easier to do it. Uh, like this. So let's see. Well, let's go right to the front start punching out some holes. Uh, the door is too wide, of course, two blocks wide. Uh, there are windows, which are three by three. So they just go right next to the doors uh, like that on each side. Of course, you know this. You've seen the, you've seen this thing a million times in this video. Whoops, not there. And uh, so let's leave that there. So um, let's uh, do I, did I grab some did not grab any glass. Let me grab some glass and put it right here where the birch planks were. I don't need that. Um, this grass is going to get changed out, but I can still put the, the glass down. I can I can work around that. I'm just going to put the glass in as it is, uh, just so that we can be done with that. And let's put the doors on. Actually, I'm going to leave the door off because 
if I do break the ground, when I do break the ground underneath the door, it's going to go away. So let's just leave that uh, as it is. So I guess what we'll do is we'll punch out the little holes for all the brown, which gets a little hairy when you get through here. It's a little tight in there, I'll tell you the truth. Um, but I don't, I don't want to do it from the inside because I, the way I've mapped it out with numbers, I'm going to mess myself up. So let's just, let's just do it this way. All right. So get your brown wool ready, and uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to go row by row on this um, sandstone all the way. You know, I'm going to do the front, then the side, back, and the other side, and I'm just going to tell you which numbered block from the left. I'm going to count like, you know, as if like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 on this side. So I'm going to tell you what number uh, on that row to make into a brown uh, into brown wool. Uh, which most of them you can probably figure out from the video. Some of them are trickier than others, especially on this side. But I got it all hammered out, so we're, we're good to go. So the first row, oh, I should have started. Okay, so the very first, the bottom row, we're going to work from the bottom up. Uh, the very last one, number 12. And uh, then the next row, the very first one, uh, number one, and then that's it for that one. Next row, the third one up, that is, there's nothing, there's no brown one on there. The next one is uh, number seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the next row, it's, there's two of them, the number four, one, two, three, four, and number ten. Which would put it right there since that's two right there. Okay, and the next row up, there's nothing, nothing on that one. And the next row is number two, two, number six, three, four, five, number six, and number 12. So the very last one. Okay, and the next row is number nine. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then that's it for that row and the last one is number four one two three four uh for the top row and that's it for that side it, originally he had them in different spots when um he first started building it and then like the next video when he came back he had changed some of them i think he didn't like and like how some of them weren't quite as random looking as he as he was hoping so uh well we've already got two done on this side how about that uh so on the left side i'm sorry this is going to be the right side. We're going to call, if we're facing the shop, we're going to call this the right side. That makes sense because this is on the right. All right, so starting at the bottom, well, we've already got one. Uh, the next one is 10. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, since we're here, right next to that is the doorway uh, that comes out here, and it should be uh, four blocks right there. Uh, so the next row up we are going to go to block number three and that's it next row up block number six one two three four five six and thirteen seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay the next row we're going to go let's see there's nothing on the next row that one's clear the one up from that is going to be block number two block number nine three four five six seven eight nine and that's it for that one the next row up is block number five one two three four five and thirteen so it's going to be two from the end here right there okay that's good and see next one up uh well we've already got number one that's one is there and then block eleven two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 okay next we only got a couple more rows left on this one let's see block six and nine one two three four five six i don't want to hear any jokes one uh seven eight nine and the last one is block number three on the top row and that's it for the side okie doke yeah unfortunately this is a little tedious uh something's missing here what am i missing here oh dear uh, on this, uh, the, the row right below the top one, uh, we had number six, we had number nine, again, no jokes, and uh, number 15, this, uh, the last one right there. I thought, let me just take a quick look, make sure I've got everything there, that looks good, that looks good. Okay, so on the back, alright, let's go to the bottom, uh, there's nothing on the bottom row, okay, 
Ooh, I was on the red carpet again for a second. I feel important. Uh, so nothing on the first row. Second row, uh, block number two, and six and ten. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then there's nothing on the next row. The next one up from that is block number three, and then nine. Oops, get in there. Nine, and then twelve. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I guess that's... <laughs> 12 would be the last one there. Okay, and then we skip this one again. And the next one up from that, uh, we're going to do 6 and 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And, okay, next row up from that is 3 and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, the next one up there is, well, we've already got block number one, and then we just need block number 12 all the way at the other end, right there. And then we just got one more on block number five on the top row, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is good. I was wondering how I was going to really explain this, but I think I think this, this works good for me. I hope this is working for you guys. Uh, okay, so on the left side of the building, yeah, left. Uh, all right, so this is where it's going to get a little... A little cozy here. Um, hmm, let's see. All right, so in the first row, it is block number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the next row up is going to block number three and 15. One, two, three. And the last one is, of course, number five. Oh, well, we already have that one on there. Uh, the next row up from that is number eight and 13. Uh, let's see, I better start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, and uh, what did I say, 13? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The next row up from that is just this first block, which you've already got in there. There's nothing else on that row. Uh, then up from here is block number 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's it for that one. Next row up, block number 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's it for that row. Next row up from that is number 13. Well, I can go from here. There's 10, 11, 12, 13. I, think I can figure that part out. Uh, okay, so up to the second to the top row here. Uh, well, we've already got one in there. So that's one and number seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And lastly, number 12 over here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. That's all the brown spots done. All right, we're not put, we're still not putting the roof on though, because we have to, uh, we're going to need some light. I want to leave plenty of light and I don't have to deal with the torches uh, quite yet. So the floor. Now the floor is, <laughs> the floor has changed a bit uh, from when he first built it. Uh, but either way, we have to dig it all out. We have to dig all this, this grass out of here. And um, we're going to replace it with a combination of black and white wool, which he was doing in a, what he thought was in a pattern of like cows. Basically, it's just white with black, you know, spots here and there. Uh, and the original spots he did in the, in the first video when he first laid them down uh, didn't get changed a lot, but did get changed just to, just enough that uh, if you watch the video, you have to be careful. Um, or you can just follow my instructions, and I'm going to give give you exactly uh, how it ends up looking. Uh, in the end, so I'm just going to finish up doing this since this is not taking too long And as you can see I'm doing under the windows too because that's going to be wool Originally he did put sandstone there, um, but he did change it out to wool apparently uh, At some point for some reason uh, It's a little aesthetic uh, Choices that he makes so I agree. I think it's I don't know. I think it He like to keep the floor the same as you know throughout the place uh, So there we go. So do we want to do all right? You know what? We're going to do it. All right. So the way we're going to do the floor is uh, I'm going to start in the back of the store here. I'm just going to go row by row, left to right. And I'm just going to tell you whether you're putting down a you know, block of white or block of black. That's it. It's going to, it's not really, I, I can't think of an easier way to do it. So, uh, so we're going to start in the corner with white, add two black, one white, three black, and then three white. Get in there to the to the right of that. So there, that that's how I'm going to explain it to you. All right, so we got a black here. We got two blacks. Excuse me. Uh, two white. 
two black here, and the rest is white, so there should be four from there. All right, row number three. This is a white block here, black, and then white all the way to the end. And by the way, we can put a white one in there since we're about to hit that edge. Uh, so let's see, this is going to be seven white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, just finish that. Oh, actually, it's going to be, excuse me, there's going to be two white black blocks and then one white. There you go. Okay, next, three white, one, two, three, and then two blacks, two whites, and then, yeah, three blacks right there. Okay, good. Next row, let's see, we're going to have a black one, two white one, oops, not there, two white ones there, two, three black ones, two white and two black ones there we go okay and then we have two blacks white two more blacks and the rest is white and we got two more blacks here and then white all the way across that one was easy um and then this one is there's six whites one two three Four, five, six, and then one black. And then finish off the rest of the other three with white. And I think we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. All right, blacks. Let's see. We're going to need three of these. We're getting into the chicken area here. Uh, three blacks, three white, uh, three blacks again, and finish up with the white. Okay, let's see. Next one is three blacks again. And let's see white Ooh, i'm stuck uh four whites one two three four two blacks and then finish up again with a white there uh, and here we're gonna have a white with two blacks and then we're gonna have white all the way across the rest of the way and then we're getting getting kind of cramped here um but i'll just do kind of this i don't want to face the other direction i don't want to confuse you or me quite frankly uh, so we're going to put five whites here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to have three blacks. Two, three, and then two whites. And here, I'm going to have to come outside to do this a little bit. So we're going to have uh, these two in the doorway are going to be white. These under these windows are going to be white. However, over here we've got one black one under there. And then two whites. Like that. There we go. There's our... There's our Crazy cow floor looking like that. Uh, yeah, this this part here that was all white before when he first did it, and a little this wasn't there originally. So if you're if you're trying to follow his videos and match it up to what I'm doing, um, you have to look at like one of the later videos where he goes in there, like the 300th video or something like that. So or even like after I think the the next video after he put the floor in, you could see there's some changes, but he doesn't necessarily mention them. Okay enough of that so the ceiling is we're gonna have to do it the same way as far as explaining it to you oh and it's gonna get dark in here uh let's put some torches up first torches torches there i can put you in what i don't well all right fine spruce planks are gone all right so torches now right, let's start at the front uh torches go above the door not quite above the door to the right and left just above the doors. Uh, let's see, this side we are going to put one. There's going to be one right above the door. Yeah, um, is that right? Yeah, one right above the door. And then six to the right of that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, just to the right of that um, brown block there. And then on the back side, uh, there are no torches. There are no torches back there. On this side, they're in the same spots as this one, so should be. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, fourth block. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so the fourth block in from this side. One, two, three, four. And uh, yeah, right in line with this. And then over here, the fourth block from this side. One, two, three, 
four. That should line up with that one. Yes. Okay, good. That one lines up with that one. This one lines up with this one. Good. And we've got those two over there. Uh, and that's it. That's that's really it for torches. It's not along this, this back wall here. So, uh, but for the purposes of the video, I think it's going to get a little dark in here. So I'm going to add a couple of extra torches right in the middle uh, just so that we can make sure we don't lose some light while we're doing this. So, let's get back to it. So, this is this the room is four high. So, um, we need to put this, this at the... Uh, fifth block level should put it right let's see one two three four five so this is the this is the level where we want to be uh, right here so we should have four showing right there like that uh, so then to the right let's see we're gonna all right well starting well we're starting with black by the way uh, so there's gonna be four black I'm gonna fly a little bit see this this I want to kind of be able to see underneath of it to do this right so four black and then this is where the hole is it's two blocks wide uh, and then there's the other side is all black uh, as well. So the next one is going to be uh, okay. We got three black, one white, and then one, two whites, and two blacks there. Next, another three black and white. Let's see. Let's see how do we do this? Well, we're gonna just have to do it like this. Put a white one there, black one there. Another white one to the left of that one. Okay, now we'll be okay. And black one here. Another white one, and then two blacks. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, let me just reiterate that. So it's three blacks, and then white, black, white, black, white, and then two blacks at the end. There you go. All right, so th the fourth row. Okay, I got these numbered on my piece of paper in front of me. Fourth row, we're going to start with white, do two black, three white, one black, one white, another black, and another white. Okay. Next one, number five is white, two black again, another three white, and then we're going to do three black and white next one yeah, you, <laughs> he said it's a zebra pattern but mm, I don't know he also said it didn't really look like one when he was done I, I think I have to <laughs> I have to agree um, but it's cool I do it's definitely very animalistic there's no doubt about that uh, so anyway let's see here we're on row number six it looks like uh, did I do that right let's just double check here one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, row number six. Uh, so let's see. We got one white here. Oops, no, no, no wood. Black, white, black, white, black. Four blacks. Excuse me. And then a white one. Okay. Row seven. Three whites. Black white black three white three blacks total and then two whites row eight three whites again here black white black white black and two whites at the end all right we're getting there yeah it looks like a big y like the letter Y from this direction. <laughs> Excuse me, I just cleared my throat. I usually edit those out when I was moving around there. Uh, okay, so we are on row. Oh, heavens to mercy. Row number, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Row number nine. Okay, row number nine. Row number nine says, oh, we start off with uh, black, two white, oh, black, two whites. Black, white, black, white, again. Black. Now it's just the same three again. And then another white, and then a black on that one. Okay. Number 10. Black, two whites, three black, one, two, three, three whites, one, two, three, and another black one there. Row 11. 11. 
all 13, yeah, it should be 13 rows. Number 11, black, white, black, black, white, black, oops, white, black, four whites, one, two, three, four, and final up with the black. All right, there we go. We're getting, again, kind of running into stuff here a little bit. Number 12, we got black, white, black, another white, black, three whites, one, two, three, and black, black. All right, last row. Here we go. Can we do it? We can do this. Black, white, oop, white, black, <laughs> uh, white, black, white, black, white, and two blacks. There we go. All right. There is, whew, there's the ceiling. Yep. That's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun here. Okay. So now, now we've got that. Let's do the structure up here in the, uh, well, this is basically a mob spawner up here. Well, not basically, it is a mob spawner up here. Uh, and mostly he uses mostly oak. Um, let's see here. We're going to use some black wool first um, for these two blocks going all the way up. Just take it all the way up to the top. Uh, then the rest is going to be oak. Uh, so there's going to be, um, let's see, how we want to do this. There's going to be an oak stream kind of running. Let's just do it all the way along the thing. It's two blocks wide like this. And then up from here, it, you know, the water has to, you know, the trough for the water has to have sides. Uh, and it does. It goes all the way back. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to show you. It doesn't, actually, it doesn't quite go all the way back. Uh, the last, there's three rows away. Uh, there's three rows of, of wood before it gets to the the water just mathematically for the flow of the water so one two three just make sure that uh, is all filled in there so this this hole should be one two three four five six seven eight blocks that that makes sense uh, if you know anything about how water flows in Minecraft and then you can just take these uh, and just fill them all the way uh, to the wall uh, we don't we're not putting any kind of wall uh, in here except for I don't know, there's always an exception uh, right here in front. So you're going to put walls right in front of these black um, walls right here like that. And we're just going to make the other side look exactly like this. Uh, let's see. If you want to fill in um, this the part that's behind the black wall over here, uh, that may not be a bad idea because you'll, you'll get googly spawning in there probably, but you won't be able to you know enjoy them. They, they'll never make it uh, down into uh, where we're going to be there. So I'll leave that to you if you want to fill that in. I'm not going to bother myself. And that's it. That's the ups That's the hole upstairs. All we got to do is put some water in. And uh, let's see, put that there. Um, well, we don't need torches anymore. <laughs> and just put the blocks of water right on the end here. And it should stop right when it gets to the edge. And it should go no farther. If it goes over, then you've miscalculated something. Um, and uh, you probably just need to go black, black. I've been saying the word black so much, going back a block over here that way. So now, speaking of black, we can do the roof since we have no um, need to go in here. There's no lights, there's no torches, there's nothing up here at all. And uh, so let's just uh, put the roof right on this. All of this is just a flat roof of wool going back and forth all the way across the top, uh, one block thick. And uh, so go ahead and do that and I'll meet up with you when we're done. Okay, that's the whole roof. Now what we want to do, since we have the black wool in hand, uh, let's do the little backing for the sign. Uh, so we want to go back one block, uh, and then we just want to make a, you know, it's one block thick and just needs to go up six high. So that's two, three, four, yep, and then we're going to put some of the big PAP uh, on top of this. So that's six there. Okay, and that should be the last of the black wool that we need. Yay! Goodbye, black wool. Hello, orange wool and light blue wool. Let's see. Light blue wool can go here. Orange wool. 
There, we won't need those. Okay, so it starts out with a, a light blue on the P. It just goes, starts there, goes all the way up there and for the first line. And then it's going to go two to the right. And then you're going to go down diagonal, down two there. And again, just leave those corners off here. Make sure this is a two by two area here. Uh, and there's the P. And the A just goes, rubs up right next to it. Uh, and just bring it one block down from the top. Don't bring it all the way you know, up to there. Then just do two across, and then bring this all the way down here. And this cross piece you're going to make match up with this, just like that. So that one should be empty, and there should be there. And they're just going to make another P exactly like that one. Piece of cake. Bring this all the way up, over, whoops, over two. We're going to skip that one. And I come down here, skip that one, and go over there. And that's it. That's it. That's the pick a pit. Big uh, sign there that helps uh, kind of sell it as uh, the right on the skyline on the skyline but I'm kind of saying stuff in my head that I'm not saying out loud um, I just I just didn't do that right the skyline of cities you know are all unique and uh, Stampy's is no different and that is definitely one of the things you can see and you say oh I'm definitely in Stampy's world you see that uh, big orange and blue uh, PAP so let's get some whoops I don't want that um, let's see, what do we want? We want some door, well, I see, I was going to put a door down and I completely failed, failed at that. Um, let's see, let's go back in here. All right, so the door is going to be right on the, go from the outside, uh, so they'll open on the in. And this sort of changed, it originally was on the inside, and, but now it is uh, on the outside. But speaking of outside, since we're outside, there's a couple of torches out here we want to do. Um, hmm, let's see, we're not going to need that door anymore. Uh, there's going to be uh, right on each side of this door here, there's a torch, and then if I can just fly on the front and back, right on the black on the corners, uh, just put them there, and that's really it. I thought there was more, but I've looked and looked, and I don't, I didn't see any more. If you see any more, let me know. Um, because there actually, there's actually supposed to be um, torches along this all the paths and um, I haven't shown you where to actually put them but I will I will um, I will show you that at some point uh, there is kind of a pattern for the most part but uh, eh, sometimes it changes up it depends and oh by the way speaking of things changing if you guys have seen the last Stampy video uh, this <laughs> is no longer the edge uh, of the town it is now being extended out uh, a little ways, you know, maybe uh, to about here or so. Um, which actually, well, I don't know, it might make building the bank easier for you if you haven't put already water, if you haven't put water here. If you've put water here like I have, uh, just make sure that this water is no more than, than two blocks deep. Um, you, I'm guessing you probably made it one, like I did. Um, just make sure it's no more than two blocks deep uh, over to here. After, over here you can pretty much make it as deep as you want um, but from this point over you need you need to have some solid ground under here because the bank goes under <laughs> goes under there it's a big build that's going to be several videos to do that one um, okay anyway let's get back to this all right so in here we just really mostly need to well I want to say decorate but we have to we have to do the insides so let's do let's do the googly cage first uh, basically you're just going to line up the this is glass panes not glass blocks uh, basically, you just want to line it up. Uh, it's basically a four by four. I'm going to use the word basically one more time. It's basically four by four. Basically, um, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three. That's already four there. And the fourth one always kind of turns a little corner since you're using panes. Uh, so, uh, but before I get too far, I want to put the sign in here. Let me grab my signs. Where are my signs? Are real? Uh. I don't need any water. And there's a sign that goes right here next to this brown block, uh, which should already be there. And that says, Googly's Goods, just like that. Uh, Googly's should be capitalized, Goods is not, and it should be a period. All the signs in here are going to have periods at the end of them. This was back when that's how it was. Every sign got, got periods at the end of it. So let's finish up this uh, glass here. It's kind of tricky to do this I'm working with panes of glass because you kind of have to really kind of work right on the edge point your little cursor right at the, the edge there 
Okay, here we go. That one. Yeah, we could do. Well, after I do this, we could switch. Now that we have the ability to switch to, um, what do you call it? You know, survival mode. Oh no, I don't want to do that yet. I was going to switch to sur to. Uh, well, I could still turn on the uh, googly though, and see if we can get anybody to spawn. Uh, just change this to hard. Let's just see. Oh, let's see if anything anything spawns up there. Uh, it may still not, even though it's dark up there. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. All right. So that's that. So this should have two, like two solid blocks going up and down, and then this the blocks on the ends should be kind of you know bent around the corner uh, like that. So here we go. So let's do the fences. I think that would be best. Um, in this corner, this is where the the cats go, which honestly, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think, if I'm correct, this is not going to hold the cat. Uh, I've had ocelots in there in my version of Stampy's World, and they, they got out. So I'm pretty sure one stack high fence does not keep them in there. But um, yeah, anyway. Uh, so it's just, uh, you know, three fences out. They're going to put a little gate here and then a fence uh, on that side. And they're going to put a fence on the back wall. Which, why can't I place the fence? Hello? What's going on here? Oh, I'm not, <laughs> I don't have a fence. I have a gate in my hand. Um, let me grab my, they're going to need chests uh, for this. Put that there. And chest is going to go right above that. And we're going to talk about what goes in the chests. And there's little signs on each one. But let's just do, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's do the fences first. Um, so on the fences right next to the door here, we're going to, uh, we're going to come out. Four, one, two, three, four, and why wow, that's really tight there. Is this? Oh, this is too. This is too big. No, it's not. Yeah, no, this is not right. This should be one block less. Silly Darman. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, I'm glad I still I got saw my glass. That's good. All right, let's just rebuild this wall here. So this should be it's I guess it's I guess it's four by three. Not I was thinking it was square. I don't know why I did that. I drew it correctly. Um, yeah, no, that's right. Yep, that's good. Yeah, because it should this should line up right here with this fence. And that's that's correct. There should be a little path here. I thought it was getting a little tight there. So uh, let's see. So we've got this fence here. This comes out four. Uh, we're gonna skip this block. We're gonna put another four here skip this block put another four right where that torch is okay and then just put a um oops not there right on the edge put a gate we don't need that there all right and let's see another fences uh we're gonna leave this block empty we're gonna bring this we're gonna put one block no where is it one fence here we're gonna put the gate is gonna go here and then all the rest is fence over to here and just match that up with the uh, the wall. So this is this is essentially four long, but you can put one, then gate, then one, and then one. So this is where Fluffy goes. I think Fluffy is that right? Fluffy. Um, the fence is going to go right there. And the chest above there, and then basically all these just get a, a fence in the middle of the wall behind the you know the little corral, and put a fence on top of it like that. Um, all right. So this side basically looks exactly like this. Um, same thing, we're going to bring this out three, we're going to put one here, one here, and then uh, the gate uh, goes right there. And similar to the other side, we're going to skip this one, bring this out with four, <laughs> yeah, how about fences, fences, here we go, one, two, three, four, we're going to skip that one, put four here, skip this one, put four here, and then just put gates right in the middle, and I guess we can get rid of this torch for now. Uh, and again, the fences go right on the wall in the middle of all these. And, uh, oh, we get to cover that one up. That's okay. Those go there. Uh, okay, so that's all the uh, the fences. These are all the little corrals. Um, let's put up some signs for these. Uh, did I get rid of my signs? Yes, I did. Where are my signs? No. <laughs> yes, I did, but I did not successfully get more signs. Okay, here we go. All right, let's start over here. Uh, let's start in the corner here with the, the cat cage. The cat cage, that's not what it's called. It's called 
Kitty Cat Corner. There we go. Whoa, a little too close. There we go. Kitty is capitalized. The rest are not. And again, we got the period there. Now this one gets, this is for the mushrooms. This one says, Mushy Mushroom Moments. Did I spell that right? That looks spelled okay. Um, yep, capital M. And the rest are all small case with a period at the end. And let's see, this one is for the Crazy Cow Center. Yes. Uh, that is the way he spells center. That is the British spelling of the word center for uh, you Americans uh, like myself watching that. C-E-N-T-R-E. -E. Uh, theater is also spelled that way. Uh, Crazy Cow Center. And this one over here, of course, the delightful doggy domain. Just like that. Big D. Then lowercase, lowercase, and period. Did I get the period on that one? Okay, yeah, I did that one. Okay, so. All right, let's do over here. We got some chickens over here. And that sign says... Clucking Chicken Collection. Be very careful how you say that, kids. Okay, next one over here is the Pretty Piggy Pen. And lastly, over here, right here, is the Silly Sheep Selection. Okay. Oh, by the way, this one, I should have mentioned, this one is Clucking Chicken Collection. Uh, skips the first line that's on the bottom uh, three lines. Every, all the rest of them are only two lines, so you just put them in the middle two lines. Uh, for those signs so let's um, let's build the counter over here and then we'll fill the things the cabinets and then we'll, the chests excuse me we'll put some animals in and that should do it all right so uh, I'm gonna clear my inventory uh, originally he had it made out of oak but uh, he went back and changed it to uh, wood which as far as I can tell is spruce I'm not 100% sure because it's an older video and the spruce changed color just a little bit darker now. Um, so I'm going to go with, I'm, I'm going to go with um, spruce. Uh, so we need some spruce logs and I need, where is it? I need my trap door. I'm going to need my till is this, the stone brick stairs. I'm going to need some half slab stone and oh, I'm going to need some, a little piece of rail and a rail car and that should do it okay so here right next to the glass you're gonna put the two pieces of wood and put the the hatch right next to that and the till was originally here but in the last video i saw it, it's over here now probably because you couldn't really see too well um so if you put a half slab for the rail car in order for the seat just put two half slabs here and here and you have to put a piece of rail here, and then the minecart goes uh, right in there. So you can, uh, now you can actually see the customers. I think that was his problem. He did mention he couldn't see a, a thing uh, once he put the, the uh, cash register there. Oh, how do we get out of carts? Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, all right. So, and originally there was a painting back here, which isn't there anymore. There was, um, if you're really interested, it was this one. It was this one with the, the googlies kind of on it, but it's not there any, it wasn't there in the 300th tour video, so I'm not really sure if it was just, if it's intentionally not there anymore, kind of like the one in the clubhouse is gone. I don't know. So I, I kind of like it there, but it's not there anymore. So you can decide for yourself if you want to have it there. I'm leaving it off uh, just since it's not there anymore. If you could use some, I, personally, I would put a torch back here if I was going to do anything back there. Uh, so no googlies yet, but uh, I, I think they spawn on, on creative still. Pretty sure they used to. Anyway, all right, so let's load up these chests. I'm, I'm saving the animals for last because they're so noisy. I don't want them to make a lot of racket. Now, some of these chests he went over, he opened them up. Some of them he didn't. So I'm guessing at, at a couple of them. And the first one I'm going to guess at is the cat one, which um, I'm assuming he probably has some fish in there. I would assume he's got a bunch of you know, a bunch of fish in there, which he probably doesn't have too many fish. He probably doesn't have this many in there, but um, because you actually have to catch them. But uh, anyway, for the for the mushrooms, he did you he did show us exactly what's in there, and it was just uh, where's the food? Here we go. Where's the yeah? It's just a you know line of um, mushroom stew, which I think he ended up eating some uh, in the video. Uh, and the cow one, he ended up putting in. Some milk. Uh, oh, I'm going to need to get some. Let's see. There were three empty buckets. And then there was five milk buckets. One, two, three, 
five. This is, I'm not necessarily saying this is how it is now, but this is the last time you opened them, this is what was in there. Uh, he did not show the dog one. So, since it seems like he's using things that are either produced by the animal or feeding the animal, I'm just going to put some pork chops in there since they love them. My bones might be an awesome, you know, another idea too. If you know what really goes in there, uh, please let me know and we'll make that correction. Now, the collecting chicken. Yes, we, oh, stop doing that. Uh, we need some, some seed. Where's the seed? Oh, here we go. So we need two stacks and then a stack of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine for authenticity to the video, at least that I saw. And then we're going to need some wheat. The next one, we're going to get... We need four stacks of 64 and oops, <laughs> three, four, and then a stack of fifth. Well, let's just, let's just one more stack. Um, in here, he, he showed, he talked, said there was, he implied that there was, um, wheat in both of these for the sheep and the, and the pig, but we did not get to see the one in the sheep. Uh, but the one above the pig had 64, you know, a stack, a stack, and then 15 wheat. So I'm just going to um, put a couple of stacks in here uh, for the wheat for the for the sheep. Um, although pigs, aren't they, they're now, are they carrots now? I can't remember. But at the time, certainly they were uh, wheat. So that might be something you'd want to to look into. No, no googlies yet. Uh, maybe they won't spawn in here. Okay, is there anything else in here before we start bringing in the noisy animals? Mm, let's see, well, I can get rid of this torch. That doesn't belong there. Uh, we got the signs, we got the chests, the little cash register area. Uh, this is fine. The upstairs is good. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, we have to do the outside with the squid's little tank. Uh, let's, sorry, let's get some animals in here. Oh, this is going to get noisy. Uh, let's see, we need a cow, chicken, no squids, uh, mushroom. Oh, well, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take an ocelot. Um, it'd be fun to have some of these in there, donkeys and horses. Pig. Uh, sheep. Is this a sheep? No, these are sheep, sheep, sheep. Pig. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> right next to it, of course. Uh, and then we also have to prepare to dye the, the sheep uh, pink. Because he dyed the sheep pink just so it would get along better with with the uh with the pig so which one is the sheep i think it's this one right in there yeah okay get oh well now which fence is he in which 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 pen is he in i'm not sure the pig you're gonna go in there i think he's in i think he's in the right pen yeah i, th I think so uh let's see i don't remember what these are oops i gotta look in my thing uh let's see which one's the chicken did i grab a chicken there we go. This one's the chicken. We'll just put a um, two or three in there. It's fine. I'm not really concerned. I'm pretty sure the number has changed over time. Uh, oh, we need to. Well, we need um, Fluffy in here, but I, I don't want to spawn a wolf and do all that. But you can. We'll bring wolf. You know, Fluffy in here later and see. We need a cow. That's this one. I know. Uh, mushroom is this one. Ocelot. I think it was this one. I'm. I'm pretty sure they're gonna escape, but. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, huh? Um, okay, all right. So that's it. Oh, you know what we didn't do on here? We didn't put the sign out here for the front sign. And then we'll do the back. We'll do the side part with the squid's tank. Because I think that I kind of consider that part of this um, build. We're going to need the planks and glass panes and a little bit of water for that. Uh, but first, we want to put this sign on here right to the left of the door and it's going to say of course pick a pet pet shop and this is the only one where everything is capitalized even the, the letter a is capitalized hi guys look at that. oh there's a baby one in there too i put wow i put a whole bunch of them in there i didn't realize i had that many i'm not sure why i'm doing that ah stop flying they follow you they watch you <laughs> um okay so let's just close this up we're going to go around the side and put in uh, the little squid area over here. Let's see. Let's get these planks out. Alright, so basically we have to dig out some of this dirt. So we've got to dig out from the corner of the building all the way to the front of the door. 
Uh, we're going to dig out two rows here, put oak planks in there. And we're going to dig out one row of three and then one row of two. There we go, just like that. And the tank actually goes right up against the street here, and it's going to be six by six, I promise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And connect it up. And then this is going to be five high. Uh, so, oh, oh dear. <laughs> that's, that's the trouble with working with this glass. It's, it's touchy. Ooh, old. How about we build it up five high and I'll meet you back here in just one second. Okay, oh, got a little extra there. I get this okay? All right, so uh, this doesn't get completely filled up. Just the first four blocks do, and the top gets sealed in with uh, with some more glass panes. Uh, so I think we're going to, if I recall correctly, this, if I just do this, this doesn't quite work. But we'll we'll do it anyway. So right at the fourth the fourth block level. I'm just going to fill water in all over the sides. Yeah, it doesn't quite reach the middle. So I think what I have to do is I'm going to put down some wood down here. Stack this up a little bit and then just put some water, kind of attach it to the sides of that. Oh, that's still not going to... Oh, bummer. Alright, let's put a little wood. Right under there. Okay, that fixed it up. Yeah, here we go. Let's get that out of there. Nope, I'm still seeing a stream here. Let's put block under there, and it should make that disappear. Good. There we go. All right, so then we just fill in this top part. If I could just aim properly. Get in there. Whoa, a little too much there. I'm going to be kind of sad to see my little theater go, but... That's all right. It served its purpose. Okay, there we go. There is the little squid tank outside. Um, I think he originally had a hole in the top, but I, last time I saw it, it didn't look like it had one. So if it does, let me know. We'll, we'll put one in. And uh, so, yeah, there we go. This this is Pekka Pet Shop all done, I think. Oh, I hate those words. I never know if I'm really right, if I actually did that, everything in the, that I'm supposed to in here. We got a pink sheep. That was the one detail I wanted to make sure I did. Mm, so, well, they're still in there. That's good. Well, I'd rather have them be cats at this point. They'd be a little more tame. At least I can make them sit down. And uh, we just need uh, Fluffy in here. That's all we need there. And uh, so don't say I forgot Fluffy. Um, okay, I think that's it. I am out of here. This is Darwin68 signing off. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!